what a terrible night for me. I think I just laid in that shower and just thought I was the most horrible person in the world for like, oh my God, it was rough. So did you break your phone? No? Yeah, it's broken. Yeah, that's okay. So, so maybe we'll see better quality videos from you? No, no. probably not. <laughs> yeah. Unless I get a, unless somebody helps me out. But no, you're stuck with crap forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's 480p. 480p. Yes, that's right. Quit. Yeah. Ah, oh, wait till you see. I, I've got a funny shirt that someone gave me. I'll wear it tomorrow. Yeah. It's so funny. Okay. Yeah. So you guys should tune in for tomorrow. Yeah, right? tomorrow. Big day. So we are here in Germany for Pinamol. Uh, that one's going to do a seminar tomorrow. A uh, lot of blast. Good, good times. We've been having a great time here. So haven't seen you since uh, you and Levant's match. Yeah. So three months. Yeah. 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 Let's let's talk a little bit of past. So. Mm. You you coming into that match, mm. how confident, how good you felt? Well, you know, you, you can feel how you felt after, but coming into it, do you felt like, I can take this, or it's still, or I'm going to do my best? Or? I I knew that Levon was incredible. I, I really knew. Like, uh, in no way did I think, oh, this is a easy, easy match. Yeah. I knew I wasn't the favorite. I knew that. I knew I would have to do things perfectly, but I definitely believed that there was a chance I could beat him. Yeah. I thought if I executed perfectly and if he made some mistakes, I believed that there was a chance for me to turn the match around and get the victory. I trained for a scenario that would be the turnaround option. I, I was not training to beat him round one. Mm. Or round two. I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, long game. Yeah, Playing long game. I was long gaming it. Yeah, and all my training reflected that. Uh, I was, I was the strongest I'd ever been in my life, unquestionably. To me, uh, you know, people say, "Oh, I think you were better with Michael. You looked good against Michael." Because you won. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's so easy to say, yeah. Right, but uh, it's different people. Yeah, it's very different people. Um, my lifts in the gym, I was the strongest. Uh, measurement, I was the biggest. Mm. Um, I think leading up to it, with the arm wrestlers that I normally arm wrestled, uh, I felt the strongest. Everything, everything was in its place. Mm. Yeah, it's just uh, Levon is he's a he's a titan on the planet. You know, is. It's going to be very difficult for somebody to beat him. Uh, I think that I could have pulled it off if the universe was perfect for me that day. Mm. And uh, Levon, Levon uh, was much too much for me that night. Like he broke my body, and that's the way I wanted it to be. I knew that if I was to lose. I did not want to walk away from the match without an injury because for me, it's uh, it was one of those matches where, I mean, most of my matches I really go all in, but this one was special. Yeah, because More all in. Yeah, because, because I truly believed that Levon was the highest level of arm wrestler that I'd ever pulled in my life. I also believed that uh, unquestionably, whoever won that night was to be considered the best on the earth. Um, so for me, it was a really huge match and I did not want to walk away from it ha not having like either won or like broken a piece of myself <laughs> and that's what happened. So, uh, yeah, I'm fine with how the whole thing went. Uh, you know, it's the way it should be. So how, how am I stop where you on a sec? Cause we're we're sitting there and commenting, yeah. and I see the energy on, from you on that first round. When yeah. I pinned you, you're like, oh, yeah. I think I can have him. Yeah. You know, yeah. And then on the second one, it was just we're like, oh, this is over. Head yeah. dropped. Yeah, everything was just <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, round one, I was very optimistic because there were some really good indicators for me in that round one because. Um, 
so I'll I'll go back like when I arm wrestled Dennis. Dennis was very cool, very calculated. When I tried to play my game with Dennis, 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 no, he didn't play my game. Didn't engage. No, didn't no. engage. Uh, whereas Levon did. Like Levon and I, if you go back, uh, Levon was happy to exchange energy with me. Yeah. 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 Which you know, it, I can never criticize him because he destroyed me, but. I was happy that it was he was doing that. Yeah. Yeah. So the game game was kind of unfolding in a way that I was happy with. And, uh, and even though, you know, like round one, whether he pinned me or not, uh, in the initial surge, either way, I feel like we both kind of came to a stop at one point, you know? So the, the, the pressure is kind of balanced out. So, and I was like, okay, so that there's potentially a stop. He's playing my game. I'm like, okay, if that stop happens an inch higher, it is on, on, on. And so I was like, okay, I got you. I got you. And then what happened round two is, so I think I was on one foul already. And so I wanted to false start him. Mm -hmm. And so I am at my max exertion yeah. and Levon is just holding me, right? So I am maxing and, and from there on the go, Levon was able to surge through that uh, with enough force so that where my muscles were already at basically their maximum capacity, he blasts through and that's where the injury happened. Right at the top, it wasn't at the bottom. Yeah, it was right, at the, right at the center of the table, yeah. right at the top. It, uh, the, the bicep, it, it tore mid muscle. It was a mid muscle tear, uh, nothing detached. I, I knew when it happened, I was like, oh damn, I'm like, you know, and, um, there wasn't much strength there after that. Uh, I was still able to fight inside a little bit, but that's just not the right choice. And so basically it was over at the beginning of round two. Um, but you, the, the good part is, well, well, I'm watching. I'm sitting right there. I was like, I was like, Devon's done. Yeah. But you didn't stop because. Well, how can you? Of course. How can lot, you? But a lot of people would stop. You know that. Well, I understand, but I mean, a lot of people aren't as committed as I am to the game. Like, yeah. I mean, for me, this is my life, and uh, yeah, you know, that's the moment you live for. That's to it. Be in that position. Hundred percent. Yeah. So I mean, to test I, your limits. Right. And I think that it's just levels of commitment. Like, uh, like you talk to a hardcore arm wrestler, you know, you're willing to, yeah, yeah, to go there. Yeah. Of course, yeah, right. And I mean, how often do I have that opportunity? It's probably my one opportunity to be across the table from Levon. Mm. So uh, you know, give it everything you got, right? Um, so yeah, so I walked away from the match, and uh, that night was terrible. Oh my God, what a terrible night for me. I think I just laid in that shower and just thought I was the most horrible person in the world for like, oh my God, it was rough. Um, but uh, it very quickly, I kind of, you know, got through that portion and uh, uh, yeah, started my rehab shortly afterwards. Yeah. I think it was like just a couple days. Yeah, we are... Uh I, I remember watching the videos, you're like, I'm going to take some time off, and like two two days later, like, your arm is like... Oh, <laughs> it wasn't two days, it wasn't two days. Yeah, it wasn't, there wasn't that long also. So. No, <laughs> it was, uh, so I remember it exactly, because yeah. of, so basically, like for the three days, my arm was in a sling, uh, mm-hmm. maybe three or four days, mm-hmm. uh, I was starting to move it a little bit on like day four, day five, mm-hmm. uh, but... By day five or day six, I was already starting to like do like little motions like with weight. Uh, by like day six, I think I was moving it through the full range. I tried to do a workout on day seven. <laughs> nope. No, no. Too early. I was like, okay, I feel it coming apart. I was in Picton. That's where I grew up. On day eight, I wanted to see the guys. I went to a practice on day eight. And I told everybody, I'm like, be so nice to me. Uh, and everybody was, and I made it through a practice. So I just, and then I practiced like every day. Yeah. Yeah. And I didn't really stop. And it's been, I've been, I've done a ton of table time and I've, I've started a, a new regime lifting weights now. So I'm back on track. I've had stem cells. 
uh, yeah, now I'm swinging hard with it. Like I'm mm. testing it like yeah. pretty actively. Uh, I'd say I'm just at the beginning now of, you know, starting to push again. Yeah. 